Hi there! In today's video I will show with you a simple trick how you can improve your right arm when playing the cello. This trick can help you as well, you know, to produce a better, cleaner, deeper sound on the instrument. If you're new here, consider to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell, so you're always aware when new performances, tutorials, tips, tricks, secrets and so on are available. I've got you covered, so let's do this. Welcome back. So before we continue with this trick, I want to explain you a little bit why I want to share this trick with you. It's because, okay, first of all, it helped me. It helped my students and, well, I'm sure and I hope it will help the others as well. So, uh, I'm sure you or you know others that have problems, you know, with the right arm or the cello. This is something very essential, the right arm, because when you produce the sound on the cello, this is the most important aspect of the instrument, the sound. Right. Many of us, you know, including me in my uh, early ages, I wanted, you know, to produce sound with a hand, only with a hand. That's wrong. So see me, my elbow, how it is. It's up. It's quite high. This is a wrong position. Actually, of course, very important is the whole arm. The whole arm is in function. But what is essential here is the elbow. So let me show you a little example. What is wrong? This is wrong, right? So... First of all, you see, I use all the force in my hand and wrist. First of all, no, wrist I can even not use because of the elbow that is high, everything gets blocked over here. And I'm already feeling tired, you know, playing this way. And you're kind of stuck, so you don't know what to do. Bad bow connections, bad sound. So for this, I have this trick for you that will come in just a bit that helps to lower down your elbow. So this is the correct position, so... Because the elbow is a powerful weapon, you see? The elbow, first of all, when you hit somebody like this, you know, sometimes it can, you know, hurt much more than just a punch in the face. So the elbow is already a very strong weapon. Same on the cello. Here on the cello, the elbow, of course, with the help of the shoulders and the fingers on the right hand and the wrist, this can really, you know, help you to improve for a deeper sound, a cleaner sound, in general, a better sound. So, I'm gonna show you right now what I'm gonna use you, uh, for you to do this. So guys, as you can see, I'm sitting on a different angle so that you can see better and clearly and more into detail what I'm talking about. So, for this trick, I call it the back trick. So it can be any bag, it can be a notebook bag, it can be a school bag, it can be a supermarket bag with some fruits inside. Most important thing is that there is something inside that makes it a little bit more heavy. So in this case, I stole my girlfriend's Tomb Raider bag. So there's not much inside it, but it's enough, you know, to, you know, to do this exercise. So what is the next step? Now that we have a bag, we want to yeah, take the thing here and we want to put it right over here. Can you see? Yeah, I cannot hold it too long because it's getting heavy. But that's the point, that it feels a little bit heavy, not too much, because we don't want to end up with tendinite or something, you know? So you see already I have the tension to my elbow goes down, you see? One thing, although, that is very important. So I mentioned before that many people play like that, right? But be careful also when your elbow goes down that it doesn't become like this. This is also wrong. You are very limited and it's vis visually it doesn't look nice. So we just want to hold it naturally, you know. Like that, can you see? So let's do this trick. Let's say I have problems with my elbow that is high. Okay, no problem. Problem fixed. At least 70% of the problem fixed with this trick. So. Okay, automatically, you know, Ooh, okay, this feels weird. And okay, another thing is that when you're gonna play, you can play whatever you want. Open strings, scales, arpeggios, uh, etudes, uh, even you can practice on concertos. Don't worry if you think like, oh my God, the sound is horrible. Like, it's normal. I'm gonna show you a little example now. It's gonna be horrible as well. 
but that's not the point. We don't want to focus on this. Our focus is that our elbow, you know, that we feel the weight, you know, the weight of the bag, you know, every time we do this automatically afterwards, it's going to be naturally. So it's like, you know, a bad habit. You have a bad habit and you want to change it into, into a good habit. It will take some time, but eventually, not eventually, for sure, you're turning the bad habit into the good habit. So same thing with here. So you want to make sure that... So see, no bow connection, very bad bow connection. This is normal, so don't worry about it, all right? Uh... disaster normal but you you felt that the sound was wow quite deep so let me show you now again the wrong version right so if your elbows like this uh, first of all the sound becomes like you know it's like you close your nose and it becomes like this you see so because they're very limited when you have freedom, you can use, you know, and your wrist, your fingers, your shoulder. The whole arm is extremely important for the sound. But the essential part is the elbow and many people forget about this. So you see, that's a simple trick. I have even a video that I recorded before. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can find it here. But yeah, it's, I don't explain anything. I just show it, you know. So I'm, I'm even thinking, you know, in the near future to take it out of line. And stay with this one because here at least I explain a little bit, you know, what you should take care of. Afterwards, when you are starting to feel that your elbow is getting more natural, what you want to do also is to practice in front of a mirror. Of course, if you have the possibility, if not, yeah, okay, what to do. But if you have a mirror that you can sit in front and look, then yeah, this is this is a bonus, you know, this is uh, this is great because then you can control everything. Because when you see like this, this is wrong, this is wrong, this yeah, seems more correct, right? So not like that, not like this, like this. So if it happens that you're lost, like, um, am I playing it wrong? Try the bag trick again. Try it over and over again. Again, this is not a trick, you know that. It's gonna, you know, resolve your problem in one second. I mean, it would be a miracle, it would be great. And please let me know in the comment section below if that happened to you. Because I would be really pleased and really happy, you know. But no, like everything, you need a plan, you need some time, patience. It will come, really. With my student, uh, it took like, yeah, about th three weeks. Three weeks and... I'm really proud of him, you know, that his posture in general, everything was so glad, so really keep up the good job and this can uh, help you as well. At least not 100%, but 70%, 80% of your problem will be solved for sure. So you see my friends, this was a very simple trick as you could see. Um, I hope you will apply it and uh, I hope it will work out for you and please let me know on the comment section below. like. How did you like this trick? Uh, did it improve something on your right arm? Because I'm wondering, it helped me during my early ages. It helped my students as well. And I'm wondering if it helped with you also. So please let me know in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget, this is something that, you know, this is not a one day magical trick, you know, that will resolve all your problems in one day after the other, no. This can take uh, several weeks. So that's all and uh, I hope you enjoyed this again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you.